Some of my boys are lazy, some of them are naughty, some of them really like human attention, some of them don't like it as much, some of them have been anxious, some of them are like crazy and just do like really daring things. It's a play on my middle name, my middle name is Faith, um, and I started the Instagram page to share pictures of my rats and to um, connect with other people online who had rats because whilst they're not a super uncommon pet, it's not a pet that most people have. There's a mixture of opinions, statements that I get. Some people are scared, some people are grossed out, um, some people um, are interested because it's not a usual pet and they want to know more about them. Some people think they're cute, so I think they can have a range of personality types like humans can and I think that's one of the great things about having rats is that when you keep them in a group you have that group of rats and they're all different and they all interact with you in a different way and even if they all look exactly the same you'd be able to tell them apart because they're all acting in a different way and have different likes and dislikes. My rats all look the same I could tell them apart. I think if somebody handed one of my rats to me and I was blindfolded I could tell which one they were by how they were acting being held and because rats are social creatures and they have to remain in groups you're always having to think about when you're next adding to the group and the introductions which can be, be stressful and not all rats like each other my rats love cheese um but it's not really a staple part of their diet most of their diet is grains um and things like that they do eat fruit and veg and meat they will eat everything um, but they do have favorite they love fish but my boys love fish um they like um this treat that's called malt paste that's actually made for ferrets they also really love to eat our food like if they're having their playtime and we're eating dinner they love to eat our food i think they find it um special they're actually very clean animals and they clean themselves all the time they clean themselves probably more than cats do um and they're very smart as well you can train them to do really incredible things a lot of scientists have trained them to do like really complex tricks like like drive a car and like race and things like that. And I do think also there's the correlation with sort of science and labs and the way that science uses them and the way that scientists treat them like they're going to bite them or they're feral or something um, when they're not really like that. Some rats can bite you if they're scared or anxious or have hormone imbalances or if they have hormone imbalances. But in general, they're not vicious animals that people think they are. Some people ask really weird questions or say really weird things like, I've had a lot of reptile owners say things like ha 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 my snake would love to eat your rat like good for you i guess but like you don't go around telling people that your pet would eat their pet they get sick a lot and their vet bills are more expensive than for cats or dogs because they require to go to an exotic specialist and they just are prone to a lot of issues and you go to the vet so um i do think it's quite tough um to have an unusual pet but i think it's also like really interesting and i think a lot of people are very interested in them because they're different than what people usually expect um and the third thing is especially for rodents is make the most of the time that you have with them because with rat you have two years if you're lucky and if you're extremely looking maybe up to three years and that's it um so you've got to be very grateful and aware of that and make the most of the time that you have with them uh, but i think that's for any pet don't take for granted that you have them because it's a real privilege to be able to have a pet